I'm using a different form. All right. Good morning, everybody. I am Ashley Evans, and I'm going to be your host today for a wake up, kick butt, and repeat. And today we are going to be doing tips on preventing burnout, especially if you work a full time job and a side hustle all at the same time. Um, plus, if you're a parent, to a child, a fur animal, whatever you're a parent to. I know some of y'all got birds. So um, whatever you're a parent to, we are going to cover everything. Um, so let me get my notes here. And if you were if you just tuned in, just throw one in the chat if you did get to watch the replay of my motivational one or um, we're on live, just so I have an idea. And I'm actually gonna have this mute everybody as they come in. Listen, I love your bird, Erica. I used to have a bird. Um, so, I want to talk about a couple of things. One of the biggest things um, to prevent burnout for yourself is definitely um, self-care. And that's a huge thing. A lot of people don't realize, to me, I feel as though the best investment you can give your business is taking care of yourself. Um, just like as a parent, the best thing you can do for your family is taking care of yourself um, to be the best parent that you can be. If you're not a parent, even going towards a sibling or a child to your parents or whatever you want to be, whoever you want to be the best for, just do it. Um, I said I was going to get my notes up and I did not get my notes up. So one thing you really want to work on is, and I talked about this in the first call, was with taking care of you mentally, physically, and emotionally. So you're going to want to prioritize um, physical and your mental well-being and really create that time, even if it's for 15 minutes. I get a lot of, you know, I hear, I'm going to say it because we all know I'm bold. Um, I hear a lot of people make excuses of they don't have time. You do have time. You just need to learn how to create that time. Um, I know myself, I get hung up on um, watching reels on Facebook. And that's literally like a real time suck. I mean, it really is a real time suck. Um, so learning how to manage your time, and I'm actually going to share with you my calendar, um, today, some of you, it may create anxiety because it's a lot, but for me, it works. So this is really going to come down to finding out what works for you the best. Um, so to take care of yourself physically, find something that you like to do, whether it's going to go out for a run, do yoga, go swimming. Um, some people like to golf, go golfing. Some, I personally like to go to, um, there's also bicycling. We have something out here called Top Golf. I don't know if you guys have it where you live, but it's like an outdoor multi-story high um, driving range. I love going there. It's fun. Um, and there's just something about hitting a golf ball as hard as you possibly can that just creates a great balance in my brain. Um, so doing something physically for, you know, even if it's for 15 minutes, um, but finding something, especially weekly, to do for yourself. Um, other things I've learned is meditation, deep breathing, exercising, journaling, um, find something that you enjoy doing, painting. I do adult coloring books. Um, 
I learned when I was in the classroom. Art class was my favorite class to attend. Because <laughs> I would just sit there and just color. And it's really like, just gets you clear, you know? Um, playing a musical instrument. Some people like piano. Um, cooking, baking. Really find something that works for you that you can either do something daily like going for a walk in the morning out here in arizona i try if i go for a walk in the morning it is first thing in the morning because it gets hot out here um during the day as of right now because the summertime's hitting um so does anybody now you can either type in a chat or come off a of mute if you choose to um implement anything right now that you or something you enjoy doing that you don't really do and you kind of forgot about that could help you and literally everybody do not type at once <laughs> There you go. Like dog walk. Oh, photography. That's fun. Writing, playing solitaire online. Oh, that's fun. I haven't done that in years. I didn't even know that that was a thing anymore with all the crazy games that are updated now. All right. Awesome. So you guys have something and make sure you make that a priority. So put that in the calendar. So if you want to color, like, literally like before bed color before bed because that's really gonna like get you to get your mind to like shut down for the night um next thing i want to talk about is realistic goals for the week um so that's where we need to find that work life side hustle balance um and these are just, and this is just little small goals that you want to look. I set my week up on a Monday um, for what I'm going to do for the week. So on a note card in, I know I showed my book last time that I have, like if you're a paper and pen person, like a book that you write it in, your calendar, if you're digital, your Google calendar. Um, but you want to set achievable goals that are going to motivate you and not overwhelm you. Um, and then when you're working on your goals, that's what you want to prioritize and focus on to get you closer to the end of your list and what you want to accomplish that week. So I know you've probably all heard about SMART goals. So I'm not really going to get into goal setting because Jen is... Jen Holthauser is actually going to be doing a training on like goal goal setting this month sometime, but I'm talking about um, smart goals for your week. So a smart goal is something that's going to be specific, measurable, attainable, um, relevant, and time bound. So one thing I like to say is Rome was not built in a day and neither will your business. Um, one form I like to say is as you start growing, you're really, your business is like a plant. If you know much about plants, I personally kill plants. So we're, I'm hoping to not do that with my business, but with a plant, you start with a seed and you water it, you nurture it, and then it grows. And that is your business. And that is any business that you come into. Um, so you want to set your goals so if you have business goals you want to work on if you have family goals you want to work on whatever your goals are look at what you want to do and this is a little bit ahead of the calendaring but you really want to look at the time that you have if you only have an hour a day to work on your business don't say you're going to especially if you're a brand new agent, you're going to do all three steps in my team horizon because it's not going to happen. And then you're going to get discouraged. And 
I can't do this and blah, blah, blah. You need to do, you need to look, like plan ahead. Look at my team horizon. Look at step one. Look at how many videos are there are. Look at the time on them. So in an hour, if you can hit two videos, then you hit two videos or one video, like, so say it's creating your business cards. You do that one video and create your business cards. This is literally not a rush to create a business. We are not a, any business. I, I honestly don't care what business it is. You can't rush it and expect things to magically happen. Um, so that's why I say really look at your time of what you have to invest. And if you have an hour a day, that is okay. There is, that is what you have. Um, I personally am not the type of person that's going to say, okay, well, let's figure out how we can make more time. There are ways that we can make more time, but not sacrificing the things that you shouldn't sacrifice, like family, things like that. Now, if you're spending an hour on TikTok or watching Reels, then guess what? I will say, hey, how about we knock that back to 45, you know, 15 minutes so you have 45 extra minutes to your business. It's kind of really what's more important, watching Reels of people walking into walls or building your business. Um, and then, or even having more family time. Establishing, so there's um, a little bit about goals. Like I said, Jen's gonna be doing a more formal goal, um, not formal, but our way of trainings um, for the goals in the future. Establishing clear, clear boundaries. You wanna set your boundaries and this is where, um, I'm going to share my calendar in a little bit. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't freak out. It's really going to be okay. Um, you're going to want to set boundaries between work, your business, and family, projects you like to do, like your personal life. So with setting that boundary, it has that clear expectation of what you want to do. Me personally, I have to start doing this because sometimes I don't know if anybody's ever heard this before, but those who can't do teach, that's kind of what I do with some stuff. And this is stuff that I'm trying to implement more on. My biggest thing is um, putting the phone and computer away when it is like family time um, or it's you have your other job and you're like oh i really want to like look on something for my business depending on your job you can do that but some jobs you can't do that um but definitely for family time put the phone away um i have a friend that posted on facebook a christmas gift her kid got her and i personally didn't find it cute some other people did but it was literally a journal book that the cover said about something about her keeping her phone out of her face or something like that. I don't see that funny because if a kid sees that, that their parent is constantly on their phone, it's kind of like, what are you making time for them? Like have intentional time with your family and it's okay to do that, to take those breaks. Even when you are working, this is where I totally go when I'm working because my phone will ring or um, I'll get a text message and I want to look at it. So um, put it on do not disturb. Like if you work on your phone with your business, put it on do not disturb so you don't get the notifications as you're trying to do things. Um, or turn your phone on do not disturb and put it away. Like right now I work in my bedroom and I'm going to learn to get off my butt and take my phone to the other side of the room because nine times out of 10, I am not going to want to get up to go over there to go check it. Um, so that's how you're going to be 
most manageable with your time. All right, here's the time for my calendar. And I'm gonna show you how I time block things. Like I said, don't get anxious. It'll be okay. Let me get my share screen. Okay. So this is my calendar. <laughs> so my calendar is actually set up the way I, I personally like it. Every color is like purple is myself. The dark blue is my daughter. Um, this grayish color, I don't even know what color it is. That, those are my working hours um, that I do with my daughter. And then all the orange, I personally go to the My Team Horizon and I automatically add that calendar to my calendar. So that way I have everything um, on my calendar. So if I'm available, I can be like, oh, cool. I can go on here and let's see. So if I'm free, like at 10 o'clock today, I can, you know, I can say, oh, I can just hop on the mock booking. So today you can see like my day is crazy and you'll see things overlap. And that's just how, that's just how it is. Um, Cause there's certain things like I do the special needs training, but then we also have the one thirty training today for, you know, us folks that are going to convention, you know, so I'm going to dip out of this other training so I can hit this call because, you know, I want to be able to attend things. So this is my calendar. And then up here I have my tasks, which I use, you can Google, um, Google will be your best friend with utilizing your calendar efficiently. I personally like to use the task buttons where as I do things, I check them off. So like when I check my email this morning, I click on that and I can hit mark completed and it takes it away. So this is how I track my stuff to make sure that I'm staying on task to do what I need to do. It looks like a lot of tasks, but I break everything down into small manageable things that I can do. So I have like share, cause I also do the business side of, um, of doing mentoring. So I have like share my mock booking in the morning, share a job post in the morning, share midday, um, check my email. Cause I tell you what, that was, this is one thing I'm actually just starting to implement this week. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I am horrible with checking my email consistently. And then I open it and I have like a hundred and some emails and I'm like, Oh Lord have mercy. And it takes me forever. So I'm literally setting up time blocks in my day to hit AM midday PM. So I do not get overwhelmed with the stress of looking at that inbox and seeing so much because you can put a one in the chat if you feel that way too, because then I know I'm not alone. Um, and Erica is also putting some stuff in the chat as well, which I'm going to look at, um, cause I've never heard of motion. Um, but yeah, let's just keep, uh, keep an eye in the chat of things. And I have to remember to look at it before I close this out so I don't lose it or my trusty friend Ladina will send it to me. <laughs> um, okay, see, now I get sidetracked. That's what happens. That's my life. Back to my notes. Okay, so doing your clear boundaries. So time blocking, creating a dedicated space to work in. Um, Right now, mine's my bedroom because that's all where I have to go, where I currently live. Hopefully that will be changing soon. Um, and this next one I learned about with a prior business. And at first it was a little bit hard for me to swallow because I was like, ooh, I can't, you know, no. I had that mentality. I am mom. I should be able to do everything like I'm She-Hulk, not a superhero. I found that out real quick. Um, 
delegate and outsource things that can be done. And I'm talking like um, any non-essential tasks around your around your house that you feel as though you have to do because you're mom or because you're the head of the household or whatever. For me, it looks a little different because <clears throat> I, you know, I am a mom of a special needs adult daughter now um, who does not have the daily living skills like a normal, you know, like a regular 18 year old. So my tasks and job duties throughout the day look a little different. And I literally have to calendar when I do laundry, when I clean, because um, it's just her and I. So if you, my thing is, if you have able bodies in your house to help you around the house to free up some of your time to be able, you know, and this is where I say like, find ways to free up more time. So this is a good example of using the able bodies in your house to help you do things around the house. If you can, um, like I said, my, my situation's a little different, but I still give my daughter tasks to do. Um, I know some people use the, well, I do it because they don't do it the way I like it. Okay. There's another excuse because you know what, at least something's getting done. I rather something than nothing. Like I give my daughter vacuuming. Now she doesn't like the, the noise of the vacuum. So I got her one of those little, Oh gosh, my grand my grandparents had it when I was little, but it's like a vacuum on a stick and it just rolls across the carpet. Like I got her one of those to help me out because even if she does it for two minutes, it's an extra it's two minutes that you know that actually helps me out. Or even she dusts um she'll dust literally singing cinderella i don't know why she thinks she's cinder you know she puts on a cinderella mode that she's cinderella and has to clean a house and it lasts for you know maybe two minutes and i'm okay with that um because at least she's helping so i would definitely learn to delegate around your house um and if they don't do it, well, then you start making them do it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand because I don't have that. I don't have that situation. So I could be totally wrong with this. But um, one thing I do, like, I don't do yard work. I hired a landscaper. There are certain things that I will spend money on because it's worth it. And a landscaper um, is definitely my best investment for my time suck saver um because i've already almost electrocuted myself doing my own yard work so that was when i said okay it's time to pay um and i almost electrocuted myself because i was actually using wired like power tools which i'm not used to using and i cut the wire as i was trimming a bush <laughs> that's not good um so find times where find things you can do to free up, you know, maybe sit down with your family and say, hey, listen, like, I really want to get this, you know, especially if you're new, you really want to get through these trainings so you can start booking travel. Um, sit down with your family and say, hey, for the next next week, two weeks, I could really use your help around the house. Um, And you're right, Cindy, it is cheaper than a hospital bill. <laughs> um, you know, and just have a talk with them. Like, this is important to you. I'm sure, you know, as a, you always want to do things, like I said, like you wanna be able to start putting yourself first and you need to explain to, you know, your family, whoever you live with, like, hey, this is important to me. I have talks with my daughter, not sure if she ever like, really comprehends it she comprehends it but in her own way um but i talked to her about like this is what's important to me like if you can why well, i do this call like today luckily she started her program but today i would have told her like hey if you can hang out quietly go play in your room why i do this then you know 
you can have, you know, we'll do this. So it's kind of like a first this, then that. And if you're in the teacher world, like Cindy um, and myself, I don't know if there's anybody else, like a lot of times for our kids, it's in the classroom, it's first do this, then we'll do that. So that's how I treat things in my household because of my situation with my daughter. Um, prioritize sleep and rest. This is a hard one for me sometimes because um, like right now, before my daughter, she graduated, so she was home all the time. So I did put a lot of work in at nighttime while she was sleeping just because it was quiet and I could spend more time with her during the day. Now she's doing her program, so I feel like I'm back on schedule. Um, but really getting adequate sleep and rest um, is important for you to recharge. So put it, I already used one. So put a two in the chat um, if you charge your cell phone at nighttime while you sleep. Okay, so I have a few, okay, I got a lot, I got a lot of twos now. Um, why do you charge your phone at nighttime? Do you charge it so that way for the next day it's ready to go? Okay. So much like your cell, much like your cell phone, um, you you're charging your body at nighttime for the next day. You're just not plugging yourself in, um, and because you're not using it. So when your sleep time, you're not like that is your time. Like you're not using your energy and things like that. So our bodies are just like our cell phones. We just don't plug them into a wall. Although sometimes I wish I could to give me a little bit more energy. Um, but I found some drinks to do that instead. So we have to remember recharging ourselves is crucial for our health as well. Um, so some tips for improving your sleep quality. Try and make a consistent sleep schedule. Um, creating a environment where you sleep that is calming for you whether you do um essential oils at night time and have those diffusing into the air white noise if you find that calming like calming for you um one thing i'm gonna start doing because i watch i notice myself when i can't sleep i pick my phone up and i start scrolling and then before you know it, you're on your phone for like an hour. So I'm actually going to start putting my phone on the other side of the room because I actually have my alarm on my watch now. So, um, try setting like a sleep schedule. So I have my phone that actually, so I have an iPhone. So I put my phone in sleep mode at 830 at night. So my text messages don't go through unless you know how to bypass that on an iPhone, which some people do, and then they bug me. Um, but try and set that time too, where maybe a half hour before bed, you put your phone away, maybe do some journaling, some reading, coloring, something to just start calming your mind. Um, get essential oils diffusing. I, I use jasmine at nighttime to. And that's what, and like that actually helps with my sleep. Um, last night, I will admit, I was up later because I was working on this and um, I did not get the best sleep, but I actually feel pretty good. I could be a lot worse today than. Um, so, does anybody currently now do any kind of sleep schedule or things to help them just? relax at night before bed. I take naps too sometimes. And naps are good. Like little half hour cat naps. They're not, 
they're good for you. You gotta recharge during the day. Um, time management techniques when working your business. This is always like my favorite thing to talk about. Um, some strategies, like I said, this is something I'm gonna be doing is putting my phone down and on do not disturb. So that way my watch goes into do not disturb. Um, and that way I'm clear of that. And I don't have the TV on because I squirrel and something may come on. And then I start watching TV. And before you know it, my mock booking just took me an hour and a half to do because <laughs> I'm scatterbrained. Um, I also like to um, have time blocking when I'm doing things and setting alarms to prioritize what I'm working on. So that way you, you'll be more efficient um, when you're focused on that task. So like my morning um, emails, I can set my timer for 10 minutes and I'm like, okay, for 10 minutes, I'm gonna be going through my emails you know, getting, deleting things. I have folders set up, putting things in, things in folders that I want to use or whatever. And then when that timer goes off, you move on to the next thing. Um, there's actually an actual system. It's called something, but I don't know what it is, um, that you set timers to go through. Scheduling and then scheduling breaks and leisure activities to break up, um, break up your time for that self-care. I like to take like five minute breaks. I'll either go on my treadmill for a little bit. Sometimes I brave it and I go outside because really going outside is a huge, um, is a good thing for like your soul, your body, just to clear your mind and get into that fresh air depending where you live, sometimes it's not so fresh, but getting some air, um, walking around. I don't have grass where I live. It's all rock. My whole yard is a rock. Um, but if you have grass going out in your bare feet and walking in the grass or go sitting out in the grass, like literally there's huge benefits and you can Google it for being outside and taking those breaks outside, especially during a work day. Um, I like to call it being one with nature and it's great. Um, yes, that's it, Jennifer, the whole time thing. So I set alarms for everything. So that way I can stay focused. Um, so if you write things down, you could be like emails, 10 minutes, um, mock booking. So doing, this would be like creating your mock booking and sharing it, giving yourself 30 minutes. If you're newer, I mean, when, I was first new, it took me forever because I personally put too much thought into it. Um, and giving yourself a time frame and like really focusing on your day. Um, seeking support and networking from friends, family, mentors. I reach out to many people within Team Horizon, not just my direct mentor, because there's certain things that when they do trainings that I like what they say and I want to implement more. And some people, um, I like the way they work. So I lean into them. Finding people, especially when it comes to hobbies, finding people that like doing things you do. So if you like, um, going for walks, go find a walking buddy that you can maybe set up a time that weekly you guys go out for a walk. Um, even business stuff, finding, um, social communities and business, you know, if you join a, um, like a networking group, now that you're a travel agent, you want to network and be able to share with others. Um, and then the other thing too, is finding an accountability partner. I know I, I actually reached out to Sam this morning because I thought I saw something about um, a training that she's going to be doing. So this month, she's actually going to be doing another one of the um, accountability partner trainings that we have through Team Horizon, where there's going to be a form that you fill out and they match you up with somebody. So that's always good to have um, 
I kind of picked my own accountability partner because her and I just hit it off real well. But you can do that too. If you find somebody like within this organization that you're like, dang, like I really hit it off. Like it was kind of weird. I mean, it felt like I was asking her out on a date, but whatever. We are great now and I have great, you know, I have kind of a few accountability partners, to be honest. Um, and then monitoring and evaluating your progress. So that's where I like using that visual of like my tasks and my calendar to show what I'm doing. So that way I can be like, okay, for like this past week, seven times, I did not share my afternoon, like all week I didn't share my afternoon mock bookings, you know? So it's really adjusting that workflow then. I personally, I know they say share five, 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 like five in the morning, five in the midday, five in the afternoon. I do less because I'm personally a little flagged by Facebook. Um, so I don't push the limit. I do three. <laughs> and sometimes I only do three in the morning, three in the afternoon. Yesterday, I actually got suspended from a group. So whatever. They're just mean. Um, oh, and look, Jody sent out an email because I didn't get to my emails yet. <laughs> um about accountability partners so um so look at that and write things down like where where maybe you can approve and like why you know and if you work during the day and you can't do those those um five during the day like if you have a lunch break do your share them real quick on your on your page during your lunch break you know or in the groups so kind of find ways that you can implement things. Um, I have a question mark on the last one because I'm not sure if I really wanted to dig into it because I wanted to see where I was at the time. But one last thing is, I'm just gonna say it anyway, I'm just gonna do it. Um, learn to say no. Like it's okay, and I'm gonna be this person, it is okay to not have to do everything for your kids school functions if they're having some a party and they want you to bake something and you baked three things already this school year it's okay to really say no <laughs> um or if there's a function going on but there's something that you really want to do either with your business or whatever. It's kind of like a priority. You know, I could have went out last night, but I didn't. I wanted to work on this. Um, so it's really okay to say no to things that aren't going to um, get you to where you want to be. And you don't have to be like the hero parent. I always thought like I had to go to everything of my kids functions. Um, but it's okay if you don't. I mean, the real important things, like obviously don't miss your kid's graduation, but there are some things like I, um, <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but okay. I'm turning into one of them. Um, but really it's okay to say no. Um, there are some things that I, I have friends that live a good hour and 15 minutes from me um, and they'll invite me to lunch. And I literally tell them, we'll tell them no, because by the time I get there and eat and drive home, it's literally like a four hour day, like four hours that I tell them like once a month, I will gladly come over to like their side of the valley and spend the day with them. Like I, if I'm going to hang out with them, I rather be, I rather spend more time with them than in my car driving. That's just me personally. And they're cool with that because they totally understand. And quite frankly, some of them, they need to start coming to my side because I always go over there. Um, 
but really it's okay to say no and it's fine and it helps you to like to not double book yourself or anything like that um i talk about communicating with your family and what you really want for this business to get to where you want to know get to where you want to go um let them know your goals and why so just to recap really work on self-care um especially if you do this full time and or even at your regular job full time if you have a 9 to 5 um or you're a teacher now you're on break but get up and walk around like every hour you're sitting down get up and walk for you know 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes like get yourself get yourself moving i now like from last two weeks until today, my whole structure of my day is completely flipped upside down because now my daughter is not home and it's quiet. Um, she's at her program so I can get back into my routine of doing what I need to do during the day so that way I'm free at night with the exception of certain calls that I want to um, attend. Oh, another thing that I wanted to touch base on. Um, make it a priority to look at our training schedule and find trainings you can go on even when you have a full-time job. We offer trainings seven days a week. So if you can't get on a booking Q&A during the day because you're at your day job, there's booking Q&As on the weekends. You need to, like, even if you don't have a question, show up. I show up, I even show up on new agent Q and A's and I'm not very, I'm not really a new agent anymore. I don't feel, um, but I still show up cause I just never know what somebody's going to ask. Um, but if you do have a day job and it's flexible, you work from home for your other day job. Like I said, um, yes, Erica always goes, asks me, what am I doing there? Cause you just never know. <laughs> um so jennifer she sat with her earbuds in if you know if you can do that if you there's so many jobs right now that you work from home now since covid you can you know you can prioritize sometimes of getting in at nighttime there's calls that like the specialty calls if there's something like today if somebody can't get on this make it a priority and schedule it in your work time that you can work your business to watch it if it really you really want to do something you're gonna figure out how to do it um and one thing i did i'm gonna actually share my screen on the cal on the calendar so i can show you at first i was like oh lord what did i do but now I actually, I like it because I'm prepared. Wrong button. Hold on. Okay. Now I'm getting my life together. So on the live trainings, it looks like a lot, but there's a handy dandy button that you can utilize to break it down. So this little button right here, the arrow, the drop down arrow, if you click on that, everything is checked off. So say you want to start and see what specialty trainings we have going on this month. Uncheck all of those. Just keep the Team Horizon Specialist trainings and this is what we have for the month. So you can plan ahead even your month um what you want to do so you can look at these and then if it's during a time that you are working your other job then that's when you're going to look you know want to look for the recording i don't i honestly don't know what the turnaround is for um the recordings getting put up because i just record it to the cloud and say it's there that's all i do um so that's a really cool resource. And then there's um, the team meeting. So like our team meeting on Thursday 
is here. Our wind down Wednesday is here. Tonight, 6.30 is our founder call. So that's here. So even if you wanna do one thing at a time, this is other team meetings that is on, um, that we have, so you know, the daily calendar, Those these are gonna be some of the stuff that is on the right-hand side that's, um, that's listed for us. So you can look at this stuff. There's workshop, the certificate workshops. I personally like hitting the certificate workshops. Um, so you can look at that. And then we have corporate training. So this is all the evolution stuff. So if you wanna break it down that doesn't look so crazy, do that. Um, and then here's all the Team Horizon stuff. So it really, like, you can really break it down so you don't open it up and you see this and you're like, oh, my Lanta. Just break it down and create your week of what you want to do. Um, I did learn from Rachel that this little button down here will add everything to your Google Calendar and it's there. And then I found out that when they make changes, it changes it in your calendar for you. So that saves me a ton of time, but you, the only thing is um, you can't edit those in your calendar. At least I haven't figured out how to. Maybe Erica can one day let me know if there's a way because she knows that stuff. Uh, but I know I can't edit that stuff. So even if I want to delete it to clean up my calendar a little bit, I can't delete it because I'm following that calendar. Um, but that is what I got for you today. So does anybody have questions, comments, concerns, want a little bit more information on a little bit more stuff? You know, what I talked about, was this helpful? Um, and that's it. You could either come off mute, throw it in the chat, or if nobody has nothing, I'll just end the call and go about my day. <laughs> but I will stop recording right now. Did you see my uh, answer in the chat about how to edit those?